Hey, what's up guys? Matt here from Toasty DIY. And I'm gonna show you real quick how you can live stream on your MacBook, whether it's gameplay or just in general, we're gonna get those OBS settings right. And as I mentioned, spoiler, we are using OBS to live stream because that is the easiest way to live stream in 2022. So if you need to download OBS, open Broadcaster, um, link down below, you can download it and you'll be good to go. Um, from there, you'll be able to launch OBS and it'll look a little something like this. I have it set up right now to record this entire video that I'm doing, but you can use it for live streaming as well not just recording. I've already done a video on how recording works and the settings are about the same. Now, what you're gonna do first is open up OBS and hit settings and then this tab will pop up. Under the stream tab, you're going to select which service you wanna stream to, whether it's Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, etc. Be sure to select that service. If you don't have an option here, the, the place that you're live streaming will give you some sort of stream key or a custom server that you can put in and that's where you would put that right here. But if you are in a situation where you don't really know what to do, I would definitely reach out to the service provider that you're live streaming to and they'll give you the proper guide on how to use OBS if they allow it. Now, in terms of output settings, you can go with the default settings and they'll probably work fine. But one thing to keep in mind is this rescale output. So I can't change it right now because I'm currently recording, but it'll probably default to the screen resolution. I'm using an M1 MacBook Pro right now, and that does have a higher end display. So if you wanna check what resolution your MacBook has, you go up to the top left corner, hit this Apple icon and hit about this Mac. And then you go under displays and you can see that this MacBook has a 2560 by 1600 display. And that would be the default, but the issue is that is not standard 16 by nine. It's actually 16 by 10. So the issue you're gonna have, as you can see, is those black bars that are on the side. So those black bars are just gonna be there if you're going to stream at 1080p, which I highly recommend doing because streaming at a higher resolution is gonna cause some lag and it's just not ideal. And if you want a stable live stream, I'd recommend setting that outscaled resolution to 1920 by 1080. The bit rate is set to 6,000. Keep in mind, this is all dependent on your internet speed through your internet provider or the Wi-Fi or whatever you're doing. So definitely use the speed test down below to figure out your download speed and upload speed. As you can see, if you have an upload speed of six megabits per second, 6,000 kilobits per second will work out well for you. But I do recommend giving yourself a little bit of wiggle room because if you do any sort of uploading on the computer while you're also live streaming, that'll take up some of your bandwidth. Now for Twitch, you gotta set the keyframe interval to two and the profile to high. That's just default settings for Twitch, but you can check with the streaming service that you're working with to see what their recommended settings are for OBS. And from there, all you have to do is start setting up your sources. As you can see right here, I just have a webcam and a desktop capture that allows me to be like, hey guys, hello, I'm here doing this. And you could live stream like this if you wanted to on multiple platforms. But if you wanna add some gameplay, let's say you get a capture card, you wanna plug it into your MacBook and then you can add separate sources. So as you can see right here, we will have a video capture device and we could call this capture card. And this capture card, if it's plugged in, will pop up right here and you can have your gameplay with your webcam and all that sort of stuff. There's a lot of different tutorials that could show you how to set up different sources, but really I just wanna get you up and running to hit that start streaming button and you can go live over on your streaming platform of choice. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. This is just a very quick tutorial on how to live stream on your M1 MacBook Pro. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.